Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is still discussing about Pascal principle. One common application for Pascal application is hydraulic jack. Hydraulic jack uh, <coughs> use uh, Pascal principle F equal to PA and then uh, the other thing that uh, about the hydraulic jack is pressure act uniformly in all direction on a small volume of fluid. So, uh, there's two principles that uh, use in hydraulic jack. Uh, I also give in your ULEN uh, link about uh, hydraulic jack and the principle behind the hydraulic jack. I hope you can watch it. Uh, watch it before before continue about uh, uh, this class. Because uh, in this class, I skip about the explanation about the hydraulic jack, but we focus for about uh, several example on how to solve the problem relating to hydraulic jack. Okay, well, we go directly to example one. So in example one, uh, it is a hydraulic press. Okay, uh, the question is uh, the diameter of a ram and plunger of an hydraulic press are 200 millimeter and 30 millimeter respectively. Find the wedge lift by the hydraulic press when the force applied at the plunger is 400 newton. Okay, uh, you already know that uh, two principle of pas two Pascal principle that you see here in in hydraulic jack hydraulic press or anything is P equal to F over A and also pressure in a clo in a close uh, in a small volume of fluid will act uniformly. Okay, uh, so uh, to use the Pascal principle P equal to F over A, we need to know first about the area of, of the plunger and also the uh, hydraulic press. Okay, uh, given is the diameter of the plunger is uh, the, different, uh, the diameter of ram, ram and the plunger Okay, the, the the diameter of the plunger is 30 mm and the diameter for the ram is 300 mm. So you can calculate the area. Area is equal to pi d square over 4. So, okay, just put the, all the information and then you got the, the area of the ram is 0 0.0314 m square and area of the plunger is 0, 7.068 times 10 power of negative 4 meter square. Okay, next uh, we can get the pressure in the hydraulic press P equal to F over A uh, using the information given uh, the force at the plunger is 400 newton and then the area is you, you already calculate the area at the plunger put all the information and then you got the pressure in the hydraulic press is 5.66 times 10 power of 5 pascal Okay, with the uh, information about, uh, we know, uh, we have calculated the pressure on the hydraulic press and now we can calculate the wedge that uh, can be lifted by the, by the hydraulic press. So using the same equation, P equal to F over A, but now uh, we can change force to the wedge, the wedge that, that the hydraulic press can, can, can lift. Okay, uh, pressure is, uh, you have to calculate the uh, pressure, P equal to 5.66 times 10 power of 5, and then the area is 0 0.0314 meter square. So, the wedge is, uh, <coughs> so you can calculate the, the wedge, the wedge is 17.77 uh, times uh, kilo, kilo newton. Okay, uh, the second example uh, using the Pascal principle. Consider the automobile automobile hydraulic system shown. Suppose the uh, force of 100 Newton is applied to the pedal brake, uh, which act, at the, uh, act on the pedal cylinder, acting as a master cylinder to a lever. The pedal cylinder has a diameter of 0.5 cm and each wheel cylinder has a diameter of 2.5 cm. Okay, uh, so uh, you need uh, to identify here the 100 Newton is not applied directly to the, to the master cylinder but it is act on the 
pedal cylinder. So you need to calculate the force acting to the uh, to the master cylinder. So what you need to use is uh, you already know in static uh, to calculate the moment. So you need, you can calculate uh, at the hinge at the hinge at uh, the pedal hinge the moment will uh, in equilibrium the moment is equal to zero. So uh, we know that. Uh, okay, uh, normally we use that counterclockwise as a positive. So we can calculate uh, the, the force on the pedal is 100 Newton and then the distance is 0 0.2 F times D. And then uh, F, uh, F times D. And then also uh, the force at the... At the uh, at, at, acting at the master cylinder we use f1 and then the distance is 0 0.04 so using the moment calculation you you get here uh, f1 is equal to 500 newton and then uh, after you got uh, the f1 okay you need to know the second D is uh, from the pascal principle p will be equal to f over a so you also need to calculate the area at the, at the master cylinder and at the wheel cylinder. Okay, by calculating it and then using the formula, uh, the pressure applied will be the same to the uh, pressure given to the to the to the to the wheel cylinder. P F over A at the master uh, master pedal cylinder will be the same to the F over A at the wheel cylinder. Okay, uh, insert the, all the information and then you got that the force at each wheel cylinder is 1.25 times 10 power of 4. So, uh, you need to note here that the force at each cylinder is 1.25 10, times 10 power of 4. Not uh, divide to the to the oil cylinder. Each each uh, wheel cylinder will get will get the same force. So no matter how many wheel at the at the vehicle, uh, there's still uh, each wheel still uh, as it 1.25 times 10 power of 4 newton. Okay, thank you.